Apparently Trader Joe's didn't get the memo that I'm in the fall mood. This is the stuff I do not mess with. All right, call time of what we got. Welcome to this week's video. So as you can see from the title, I'm doing a prep for fall and going into this new season. It's still freaking hot in Florida, but I am wearing a sweater today. I'll give you a little fit check. I have like a bullet list of things that I wanna do and it's get a Starbucks fall drink because how else do we get in the mood? I wanna go to Target, Home Goods, maybe Hobby Lobby, maybe some other stores on there and just kind of see what there is. I'm not like a huge decorating person, but I do love some little touches that feel like you're going into the next season. It's just fun. I go to some thrift stores. I haven't been thrifting in a while and I'm very excited. So we got a busy day today. I've got my sweater and a little fall fit on and I'm gonna go pick up my friend Rachel But yeah, let's go get fall. We're going to Starbucks. I tried their like apple something drink and I didn't love it It kind of tasted like a candle So I think today I'm gonna try to do a shaken espresso because that's always my favorite drink from them and Get it with like a pumpkin flavor or something like that We'll see. Hi, can I do the oat milk shaken espresso? But with sure. pumpkin? Do you want to like make your own? Yeah, if I can just replace the flavor with pumpkin. If I can get that with extra ice in a venti cup. And then that's it. Yum. Thank you so much. Have a good one. This literally looks so good. I like getting the shaken espresso because you can always taste the coffee in it. Like it doesn't get too milky. that slaps yay it's so funny to me getting like a fall drink and yeah it's an iced one but i'm sorry iced coffee girls unite next up is trader joe's and i don't have anything that i need from here but they always have the cutest like fall yummy baked goods and i would love to get some mixes or just like inspiration to make a cozy little fall something so we're gonna go check that out Well, that was a bust. Apparently Trader Joe's didn't get the memo that I'm in the fall mood. So they don't have any of their fall stuff out yet, but that is fine. Now we're gonna go pick up Rachel and continue with the fall mood. It's only like 95 degrees out, so it's not 100. Exactly, no one can say we're not tough. I love these shoes that Rachel has, the Adidas Gazelles, and I really wanted them. And I was like, well, here is the proposal. What if I get another color and then we share? And she got green, which like looks green. so cute with my outfit. Purse is free people. Free people. Shoes are Adidas. <laughs> House is flooded. We also showed up with the same hairstyle. Same hairstyle, same shoes, similar bags. Say you hang out together too much. What's on your like list? What do you want to get? I'm not like a a, ghoul, a ghouls and goblins type of Halloween girl. Me either. I feel like even ghosts, it's like I want a little bit more like a pumpkin, a, f yes. a leaf. I think I want some like fall foliage type. <laughs> foliage? F f foil. Foils. <laughs> I want aluminum foil. <laughs> How do you say that word? Foliage. Okay. Full. I don't want that anymore. <laughs> I want some things to put in my vases. We also need a doormat because Josh bought one from Target and as soon as it got wet, it bled onto our thing. It was so bad. Yeah, oh, so we do need doormats, both of us. Yeah, doormat. I want like little fun things. I also think the thrift store is gonna speak to me more if maybe there was like some cool frames or things that are just like a little bit more antique. -y. Antique, yeah. Oh. I think that's a little more my vibe. But it's nice to let home goods tell you what you want. I was gonna say home goods is like Walking through it, you're gonna decide what you want. Maybe some throw blankets. Oh, mm -hmm. that's that could be fun, like orangey mm -hmm. or a pillow. Yeah, simple. So with that, let's go find it. Wish us luck. This is the stuff I do not mess with. <laughs> this is the type of fall that I can put in my home. <laughs> Precious fall. She's cute. This is my kind of fall. <laughs> I swear it's foliage. Little puffs. Cheers. Oh, this is actually really cute. 
So you like like little animals in the woods? No. Picture if all the animals came awake, like night at the museum. These poor innocent little like bunnies and things have to be around Frankenstein and all the skeletons. New aisle. We're stretching out. <laughs> We're defeated. I'm honestly getting less than I thought, but I feel like in shopping for seasons, it's also good to be conscious of you don't need a bunch of things. That's what I would say. And then I'm hoping thrifting can kind of find some stuff. Fill in the holes. Mm -hmm. We ended up finding some really good stuff at Home Goods. I got a table runner and some different things for the table at TJ Maxx. Oh, yeah. We ended up getting some really good stuff at TJ Maxx. So now we're doing our last stop, which is thrifting. This is kind of like, you're either gonna find some goods or you're gonna bust. Maybe we could try on a wedding dress just for old time's sake. Yeah, honestly, actually that is how Rachel and I even connected because both of our first viral TikTok was about a thrifted wedding dress. Kind of crazy. I didn't wear mine. It was just, I tried it on in a thrift store and was like, oh, so pretty. And it was before Josh and I had even talked about getting married. And I posted a TikTok and it like went viral. People were like, oh, that's so cool. You should wear to your wedding. But I literally left it. And then she actually did thrift her wedding dress. I really want to get a wig for Halloween, but I don't know what I'm going to be this year. So kind of checking these out. We went from fall shopping to wedding dress shopping because there are so many here. We each pick out what we would pick as our favorite. Are we allowed to make alterations? Um, only slight. Okay, if I was going for sleek, like, slick hair like my hair is now, and then low back, I think I'd do this one. I've tried this one on before. I'll show you guys the vision. Hold it on up. I would turn this. The waist is so snatched. Honestly, yeah. So what I would do, I would definitely crop it. Maybe even do short sleeves. Maybe like little puff sleeves. ones. Yeah, like little puff sleeves. That'd be cute. And then I would be like... Veil. The veil is the moment. And that neckline is beautiful. When I came home, I decided that I needed to go through some of my closet stuff because I just got a new free people package and I showed this on my TikTok, but please look at this jacket. I feel like this is me in a fall jacket because it's kind of lightweight. You could layer it with things, but it's gonna look so cute even with just like a pair of jeans or over a dress. And then I got this like blue dress. I've been loving the bold colors. I just think this with some fun little heels to church or even just layering it is gonna be so cute. I got other pieces as well and I'll leave them linked in the description, but my rule is when I enter new things into my closet, I have to plan an exit for some others because you don't need to just have load it up with clothes and it's good to give them a new home. I sell some of the stuff that I purchased for myself over on Detour, which I can leave linked in the description. And then a lot of my other stuff that I get from working with brands and things like that, I'll either just pass along to friends or I'm able to donate. I've always been pretty good at getting rid of stuff because I know it just opens up room for more exciting things. There's just something so special about going in your closet and everything you look at, you like the items. I feel like it's easy to go into a season of being like, oh, I have nothing to wear. And it's because you just don't love the items that are in there. Even though basics to me look like a lot of colors, but they just are kind of staples. All right haul time of what we got. <laughs> First up from TJ Maxx, we have this. A table runner. Oh. I felt like this could be cute for Christmas too. Yeah. Yeah. Multi okay. seasonal. New little fall place mats. Okay. <laughs> You're not that sold. Practical dishcloths because we always get the little decorative ones with these actually dry your hands. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. That's a score for Josh. And then I got little napkins. I don't know if we'll be returning these, but I kind of wanted to see what they look like on the table. Thoughts? Uh, two for four. Okay. Then from Home Goods, I wanted a centerpiece for. Okay, don't look so skeptical. Isn't that face cute? It's very pretty. Yeah, and I thought that would be like a nice little fall centerpiece. Okay. Do you like it? I do, but there's an important component missing. Oh, full orange moment. Monogram vibes. Okay. Then. That's what? A pumpkin. Pump just a pumpkin? Yeah. Flame candle. You like turn it on when you have batteries and it has a little thing. 
I just felt like that, kind of cute. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> that's it? <laughs> yeah, all of those bags. What about Salvation Army? Oh, first up, these pants. Jealous. I'm actually jealous of those. Wait, really? Yeah. Okay, well we can share. These be long enough for you? They might be perfect. Okay, maybe we'll share these pants. This, I'm actually thinking that I may have made a mistake because I wanted a denim shirt, but I don't know if this is the one. Are these men's? These are men's. Okay, <laughs> That's why does that matter? I just knew I, I liked them. Anyway, denim shirt, I'm a little iffy about, but I thought like over top of something with boots, it could be cute. Yeah. And then this little white tunic. Did you see the free people vest I brought? It's like a suede long vest. So I thought this was either like shorts or a skirt and then the vest and a pair of boots. Or this with literally anything because I just have been looking for something that's a little bit more like slouchy and I liked how slouchy this was. So I just go ahead and decorate now. Yeah. Let's do it. for joining this fun fall day with me. I literally had so much fun just getting in the seasonal mood. And like I said before, you definitely do not have to buy things. And I'm so excited to like keep these in a little tote and use them for next year. But it is so fun to get in the mood, even though it's 90 degrees and I'm sweating in this sweater. Um, it still was so much fun. So I hope you are getting in the cozy mood, drinking a cup of tea or something, maybe turning on Gilmore Girls. But yeah, that's just the vibe that I've been in lately. Love you guys. Thank <laughs> you.